had to keep working on me Till I got it right, right, right This whole key looking at me now I got a right, 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 all of a sudden. And what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another How to Cop Guide. And this time, we're back at it to break down this upcoming release of the Air Jordan 1 J Balvins, which were unveiled, unveiled, I should say, at the last Super Bowl uh, concert. He put them on on feet, and they were looking crazy. This whole sneaker community was going wild over them. Um, but I feel like 90% of people are going wild over them because they knew how limited it was going to be. They knew how much profit there was going to be, but not so much for the body. It's overall a shoe that just has too much shit going on. For me, I would definitely never ever wear this shoe unless it's like for a very, very special occasion or I got that cheddar. You know, there's no other reason for me to be wearing that shoe. Um, hopefully before we do have the drop date, we'll have an early in hand review for you guys, which is kind of cool because that's a very high tier journal one. Very much so compare it to a Travis Scott. Now, without a doubt, it is going to be very, very limited. And also, it did release overseas already in Asia and China. And market tanked. And I mean tanked. Uh, two a day and a half ago or so, prices were like $900, $1,000. Like, they were actually selling for that much money. All of a sudden, China gets this, John, and boom, it's gone. They're at $500, $450. It's, it's insane. It's insane to see them this low. But I guarantee, guarantee you... Come back to this video. By the, after the sneakers release, these shits are going to the moon. Absolutely going to the moon. There's supposedly only around 13,000 pairs of the shoe being released to the public. Jay Bellman has a huge FNF list that's got this shoe. I know somebody that's on it, and it was... It, like a lot of stock went to friends and family. That's all I got to say. Uh, but in this video, we're going to break down the best chance of copying them, which realistically is just going to be mainly sneakers, but we'll break down some other sites, resale predictions, and when you should buy them and when you should invest in them. Because trust me, it will be worth the buy. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And as you guys can see, we're up on NikeSneakers.com. Now, if you are brand new to the game, because I feel like this shoe, is similar to the Chunky Donkeys, I'm going to compare to the Chunky Donkeys. I feel like this shoe is going to get a lot of people in a category that are, don't usually go for sneakers on it really into high tier shoes but just because the fact that this is jay Balvin, he's a huge huge name in south america and a lot of latin countries and he's big in the u.s but he's absolutely huge over there and that's why that price is tanked because they came out in china and they really don't know who the hell jay Balvin is over there they don't really honestly i don't think they really give a shit uh they just know it's a good ass shoe and it's very profitable and that's why it's tanking so damn much uh, but up here on like your sneakers, you can see it's coming out on December 8th. And this December 8th and December 9th, these two shoes, absolute movie. And these two shoes, we should also possibly be getting early as well. So review should be out this weekend, if not early next week on Monday. But there's a massive, massive, absolutely massive description of this shoe. We're not going to read all of it. But basically, we're going to condense it into the fact that it's retailing for 190 US dollars. Without a doubt, once again, going to be worth the cop any size and one color but any size is definitely definitely worth it dropping december 8th at 10 a.m eastern originally unveiled during a halftime performance on american football's biggest stage the exclusive air journal one uses an electric mix of colors textures and graphics to reimagine the classic silhouette in the image of colombian recording artist j balvin if you didn't know j balvin also recently uh, collaborated i should say with mcdonald's that was very interesting you know the whole mcdonald's that just ended all of a sudden their campaign was huge with travis scott died down a little bit with j balvin then just non-existent anymore uh, one thing that I really don't like about this shoe is this pink midsole. I would really do wish it was like a sale midsole or like a little dirty white midsole. I just don't think the pink... I mean, it kind of goes with the tongue. Don't, no, no doubt it goes with the tongue, but it just... Once again, even if it was white though, I wouldn't be a fan of the shoe, but that pink just doesn't do it for me at all. Uh, basically on the back of here, you do got removable patches. This is more like canvas material as well. There really isn't anything else too crazy about the shoe. Just canvas material all over. Uh, once again, pink soles right there on the inside. It's just like cut out. It's a very funky looking shoe. And then you got Jay Balvin's iconic uh, quote unquote logo, a smiley face. You know, what else do we got in 2020? You got smiley faces and friggin' scribbles. That's that's design. That's designer shit right here in 2020. Uh, my man's got the Jumpman logo on one time. Tongue. Uh, Jay Bomb logo on the other tongue, you got that exposed tongue that you know really it was started before, but I think it got really, really popular. And Nike started doing it a lot more shoes after Virgil Abloh started introducing more like the exposed tongue and more exposed features on the sneakers. And once again, you guys can see here this I don't know if you can pick it up, but it's Velcro right here, so it is removable patches. Uh, kind of reminds me like SBs, the fact that, like SBs typically do end up having that uh, uh logo in that same exact heel, on, like same exact part of the sneaker on the back heel. Uh, and if you scroll down, it's only going to be coming around in one uh, size run. So there's no GS size. It's once again, a very high tier shoe. And that happens. They condense the listing into just one general listing. DC3481-900 is the official SKU code. And what you can do with that SKU code is look it up on the internet. And you can find anything you need about this shoe. You can find more specific raffles, uh, more specific site lists per se. But of course, if you guys want the full site list, more info on this shoe. And I actually give away some pairs uh, for relatively good. 
at the beginning now not so much but we gave away some pairs to members as well we had these early and the group time boy tv plus make sure you guys check that out um, but continuing on with this shoe, sneakers is going to be your best bet once again. Most stock will be on this app. All of the retails, from what I'm being told, are ranging either from 100 pairs to 250 pairs. And that's once again only at high end boutiques. Now, there's only one exception to this that the one non high end boutique is Foot Locker. Believe it or not, Foot Locker is going to be getting the shoe, and they're actually dividing it up into two different listings, which is the only retailer to do this and only retail I've ever really seen break up a Jordan 1 like this. The way they're doing it, though, is that it's not going to be online, no in store, unless you live in Los Angeles. That's the only 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 place to get this full locker only does either chicago or full locker for their uh, or la full locker for their big premiere location i mean premiere releases and this is just another one of them but this time around no chicago once again uh so if you want to enter this i would even recommend entering if you live across the country if you are willing to fly over i do think it'll be worth the profit because like flights are, are mad mad cheap i think like 150 dollars from new jersey all the way to LAX, and you really just need to stay there for one day, go in and get out, cash out, and you're done within like a few hours, and you make yourself some considerable profit and get a really, really iconic ass shoot that I see going up over over time. I do think it's heavily slept on at the moment, considering that prices are right now, once again, dropped by like 500 plus dollars in certain sizes. Uh, so once again, do, go do that on the Foot Locker app and check that out. Make sure you put in the zip code of California, or Los Angeles, and it'll pop up for you. Bodega is another retailer out here. Once again, only via raffle. And that's pretty much your just mere best bet for Bodega. Kith, uh, once again, if you're located near a Kith store, that's Kith Miami, Kith Los Angeles, Kith Brooklyn, Kith Soho. That's United States locations. I got some in Japan as well. You better enter them because this is honestly a solid, solid chance. This is like one of the biggest retailers that does carry high-end premier releases. Uh, so your best bet, if you live near one, is going to be Kith in store raffle. And if you can try to, you know, finesse with multiple entries, you're golden at the end of the day. I'm not really going because once again, your chances of winning that shit is very, very low considering the amount of people that usually enter those raffles are like in the five digits like multiple thousands and thousands and thousands people into that and there's only once again like 400 pairs up for grabs in that establishment now we got extra butter dropping these now the way they do it is once again the same thing they do it via raffle uh then we enter it oh it's no surprise here it's an instagram and twitter raffle and typically when retailers do this you barely ever see any success from them i mean typically like kit you will see success people post in hand pictures but extra butter i've never ever seen a person win an actual instagram or twitter raffle just my take on it don't hate on me but i've never absolutely seen a raffle win from them now, Concepts is another retail that's going to be getting this, and I would possibly, possibly, minor, minor expectation for them to be the only retailer to possibly shock drop, quote unquote, uh, some stock online. They've been doing that relatively lately a lot. For Sakai, they did that. Uh, for Off Whites, they did that. They've been dropping a lot of like the high end shoes shock drop. They don't say it in their post, but they do end up dropping it, and we catch it in the monitors. Um, and do end up dropping it, and it's relatively still um, very, very hard to cop. But if you have like an autofill tool, or if you're running quick tasks on bots on Shopify, you know what the deal is. Uh, it's relatively easier to get but if you want to go manual your best chance of getting concepts and you live near their boston location or their new york city location you got the in-store raffle gonna probably be opening up this monday and it's gonna ask you like a trivia question answer the trivia question and then you're about it but keep in mind have post notifications on if you're not and tapped in any groups uh definitely turn on notifications for concepts because they'll be posting about it when they do go live and that usually happens around 11 a.m eastern to 1 p.m eastern uh, for the raffles then we got bait over here dropping them via a raffle as well but they don't have anything up at the moment expecting them to put a google form up they're really raffling this shoe off via a Google form. I feel like this establishment should be doing a little bit better. Just pay at least a little bit more money. Have a more organized raffle. But you know it is what it is. By the way, if you guys didn't see these Wagyu beef fucking Air Force ones. Crazy. Absolutely wild. This is coming in, releasing in Tokyo Comic, Comic Con. Uh, a lot of cool items dropping over there. If you're interested in collectibles and figurines. Doesn't have much to do with this video. But if you're interested in that type of stuff. Make sure you guys check out uh, Comic Con in Tokyo. As well as Complex Land uh, beginning next week. Uh, not no ad none of that shit but i have a i'm a big fan of collectibles big fan of figurines big fan of all that type of stuff and i'm gonna be going crazy over it and if you're interested in that as well they might have some bear bricks they might have a lot of other cool collectibles with 3d tokyo toy tokyo and all those other type of brands and style and stores we gotta stop with the establishment words all the time uh but go ahead and check that out because it's gonna be a really really cool event from what i can tell uh bait once again there's the whole website the website in the u.s though is very very laggy so be careful of that undefeated dirty have the raffle open so we're not going to talk talk too much about it but they did this a week early winners do get emailed on the 8th of tuesday which is the release date of this shoe of uh, via email 9 a.m pst which is 12 p.m eastern exhibition is another raffle that's going to happen and once again all raffles now first come first serve in store 
you're gonna be non-existent unless it's some crazy like low-key high tier boutique that has it you know it's somewhere near you i definitely don't know of any that are gonna do first come first serve pretty much all i know of is raffles uh now we'll look at prices at the moment i mean I, oh oh they went up a, nah they didn't go up a little bit look at small size they're at like 500 dollars. take a look at the graph literally five thousand dollars sale on november 3rd no this is november no september 10th now september 30th it was that sale then all of a sudden it dropped down to 1300 975 so a good amount of pairs are selling around the thousand dollar mark all of a sudden goodbye profit and dropped down to 518 dollars now when the shoe happens like that there's a reason for it and that reason once again is because the fact is you they saw a release overseas and they break market because they don't really care about j bob and like that uh now if you're going for the specific shoe i'll definitely focus on either like base sizes because these are gonna be ultra ultra rare once again your only chance of copping those specific size ones is sneakers or really big size right now are doing better which is kind of unusual i know a 13 was this was literally 900 dollars last night 900 freaking dollars last night yeah sales were 850 900 and then drop down uh, but smaller sizes, I do feel like are gonna be, are gonna be an easier sell because you know demographically, uh, people that are in South America are a little bit shorter, most of the part, just most of the time, um, depending on your country and heritage, of course. But that's just you know an, an inference, and typically they do wear smaller size feet. So that's why, and it's more of like a uh, female shoe. So I do see this once again no hate on anybody but i just feel like this appeals to females a lot more and it's more of a sneaker that is going to be in smaller sizes for females but at the end of the day every size is a safe bet and if you're going to want to invest in shoes i definitely consider investing in smaller sizes and i'll do that relatively soon before the sneakers else because once sneakers else come out it's about a wrap on them and people are going to just bring up market exponentially uh and goat is pretty much the same goat market did drop a good good amount but they are uh, it's actually a lot healthier compared to StockX. I just told you to show who is on StockX and who is on GOAT. More mature people, more mature sellers do use GOAT just because you have to get verified on GOAT. And it does take a little bit more of like a, a process. I do feel like more mature people have the time for that. Literally a big difference. There's like a $100 difference in most sizes. Like 10 and a half right here is 540. 10 and a half over here is 634. Like a $100 difference. Without a doubt, buy on StockX. You could literally buy on StockX and sell on GOAT and make money. That's a great, great loop right there. If you use fire... Oh... Here's a good loop I just thought about. If you bought Fire Red Forest and you have $20 discount codes, I highly, highly recommend buying this right here. Highly recommend buying that with your $20 off. If you got like, if you sold like five pairs on GOAT, you have an extra $100 worth of credit. I don't know if you can stack them together, but that's a crazy loop if you can, but without a doubt, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys with the Reseller's Corner tomorrow. Then we'll have an in-hand review of the shoe and Dunk highs. And that's about it. Good luck. Peace.